Your pants are sexy. Oh. So you can sex the legs. I guess I didn't get it. I promise you I did not get it. That's why I was like. Because your your legs are shining. Well, the pants. Oh. It's shiny. It's glimmery. What Jamaican pants? Yeah, do a pasta pasta. <laughs> Let me see. Over the wall. Over the wall. Put the AK over the wall. Over the wall. Over the wall. Put the AK down River Falls. Is that how the song goes? Down Dun River Falls. Over the wall. A. No? Is that how it goes? Does it say that Dun River Falls? Does it say Dun River Fall? I don't know. I put that in there because I don't know what he says. <laughs> And I hit record. Do -do -do. Welcome to the Panda Guys on Show, you guys. Ooh. And I am your lovely host, Panda. And um, my co host isn't here today because she accidentally double booked because she pulled a Nedra and didn't look at her calendar and um, <clears throat> double booked herself. So she's not here, but we miss you, big cat. We love you. Head ass. Oh, oh. And as y'all know, that was King Al talk about some head ass. Yes, sir. King Al in the building, y'all. All right. All right. We got King Al. And as you heard me say, we have Miss Nedra. Who, hola. Um, hola, ma'am. Hola. She double booked herself. Forgot it was her mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I figured it out. Happy birthday, mom. Yeah, you figured it out. You were able to, to join us. We have the lovely Mr. Jackpot. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jackpot. Nice what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> and um, we're supposed to have two other guests coming They may come, they may not We shall see what happens If they creep in, they creep in If they don't, they don't And We are all parents that are here, right? Right mm -hmm. So what if someone comes to you and tells you That they found your child and their child smoking? What would your reaction be? Where were they? They were in the backyard of the other kid's house And that Same kid's space. parent caught them smoking she didn't say what she caught them smoking she just says i found your our boys smoking at the heat of the moment i pretend what pretend what the same, not i pretend as if i'm a, i wouldn't pretend to be upset because i do it so i mean it depends on the age and it depends i guess who they're doing it with and if they really oh, cool. are Okay, so there's factors to this. There's yes. levels to Absolutely. this. Yeah, there okay, is. so there's levels to this. Of course, because I have age all plays a factor. Age, location, age, location, who and who they're with, who they're with, and what they're smoking, probably. Yeah, of course. Okay, so those are the four different things. So when you hear this, what's the first thing that's going to go through your mind? Let's go with King Al since you started it. So the parent comes to you, Mister So and So. I caught the boy smoking. What's your first thing that goes through your mind? Well, the first thing, which I was smoking. That would be the first question I would ask first because... So are you going to talk to your child in that, and your son in that moment or are you going to take him home and talk to him later? Or is it like immediate right then and there type discipline? The only reason why I would ask questions right on the spot is because it's on the spot. Later on, they can try to figure out a story or whatever it is they're trying to figure out. If I catch you on the spot, I'm going to ask you on the spot so you can't figure out a lie or something to cover it up or whatever it is that's going on. That's how I see it. I'm going to ask first quarter, I'm going to ask you what you what you were smoking. Okay, figure out what you were smoking. If it's that major of a drug, that depends on how I was snapped. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if it's something like marijuana, which is medicinal now. I or legal. Yes. I wouldn't snap, you know what I mean? Like if it was coke or, you know, they were sniffing something or they was popping pills. If they was doing something like that, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna beat you on sight. If it's that major of a drug, what may I'm gonna beat you on sight and then ask you later because that's too far of a drug for you to even know how to use it and what to do with it. So I would ask those questions and then I would say, Okay, where were you guys? And All right, then, so you're gonna ask questions first, then beat. 
Well, then discipline, yeah. Okay. <laughs> discipline, whatever's necessary. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. All depending on the drug, how heavy the drug is. And age and all that stuff. Exactly. All right. So they're, they're, they're pretty much quote unquote home because they're at a neighbor's house. Right. You know the neighbor for as long as the kids have been alive. So you know where they are. <clears throat> you know where they are. They're, they're, like Nedra said, they're in a safe space. They're 13. So that's the age. And what was the other factor or what they were smoking? Okay. So you'll be okay with marijuana. Mm-hmm. You, Nedra. Now you got three out of the four answers. Yeah. Your turn. So to answer the question, the original question, my first thought is, where were you? Mm-hmm. Because that's important. I think the fact that they chose a safe space um, indicates a level of maturity. Okay. Two. Um, so the parent came to you with the child or came with the child? So this is how it happened. All right. So you never seen them. How about that? And you never seen them, the other parent. I have them. Right. The reason why okay. I ask, the reason why I ask is because if the parent came to me with my child, the parent is coming to me with the information. So my question is, where were they? What were they smoking? What happened? Right. Because I want to hear the parents side of the story. Mm -hmm. For me, it's all about a conversation. So you said the age was 13. And even before you said the age, my thought is if my child is old enough to be outside with friends away from me there, I obviously I feel like they're old enough and mature enough to be outside making their own decisions. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's a conversation regardless of what it was. It's all a conversation. And what how I was raised and what I appreciate is that I had my own opinion. So mm. for me, it's a conversation. So, so you grew up with how, that household where y'all how, talked it how out. How did you start? You know what I'm saying? Why do you do it? Mm-hmm. You know, what, what is it? Obviously, why do you do it? Let's have a conversation around it. I'm not going to. I don't want to drive discipline. my child away. Right. Exactly. Right. Because, you know. Then you won't build they, that trust. The saying is everything is okay with the in moderation, right? In in no way am I saying I'm okay with doing drugs, any drugs, all drugs. What I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you know I, this is what I want for my child. However, in dealing with per- people and personalities, you got to level up. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You got to come to a common ground. I can give my opinion, but what? I, if my child wants to do, if any person wants to do this, there is absolutely nothing you can do to stop them. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to drugs, especially, there's nothing you do. If it was, we wouldn't have people fucking homeless giving and their lives away. And rehab and everything else. To, you know what I'm saying? All of those things are by choice. By fucking choice. There is nothing you can do to stop a person from using drugs if that's all that they're doing. There's no laws against it, no nothing. So... Bringing it back to, you know, my child, it's a conversation and we're going to find a level ground on it. Um, so, yeah, and this is just coming from someone that's been a parent for 18 months. So. It's okay because I'm sure you have other children that you're close to that. You and know. I just, I don't know, to me, that's, that's where the logic comes in. If, if I've allowed you to go out and be out without me, obviously I feel comfortable with your decision making skills, right? So it's a conversation, just like anything else. If I caught you having sex, okay. Let's let's, let's have a conversation about it. Damn, could you be my mom? <laughs> no? That was that nervous laugh. <laughs> For real. Can, can you be my mom? I mean I didn't really get into no trouble as a kid, but still, can you be my mom? Because I, I think I get into more trouble into now people. as an adult. That's what I'm saying. I would have had to like ease my way. I can't just, I can't take Amanda how she is right now. Why? It's this is trouble, the better version. Trouble. This is the better version. Is it? Yeah. Someone you need to talk. I get in more why. trouble now. Yeah. I stay on Sorry. Topic. Sorry. Stay Staying on topic. topic. Stay Mr. On. Jackpot. Um, I like those sneakers. Sorry. Age. I feel like that's like the curiosity coming to age stage right there. So, I mean, uh, and me and the other parent ain't like on the same, like, have the same viewpoints on whatever substance or, mm-hmm, or discipline. smoking is like, they might be mad at me because I'm the dad that's like, 
I could have came over here. You had to go over there. <laughs> you, know, like, you, need, you need a light? Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay. I'm not like, I'd rather y'all be safe over here. At home. Right. Doing. I can see you right. keep an eye on you. you know what I mean? Look like, at it, inspect it if <clears> I need to. Even at this age, I mean, introduce my child to my son to firearms and how to properly. Handle them and stuff like some, oh, yeah. people, some, I've people introduced, might, some people might find that controversial. I've definitely, I've introduced the kids to twins. I think at this age, I mean, what we can't stop their nuts from dropping, we can't stop them from having a wet dream. So, I mean, we can't stop them from exploring the world and finding out curiosity about it. So, you might you else. feel better educating them yourself right. since it's already no, gonna happen. Is the key. I'd rather them know I agree, than not know. I agree. I'd rather let them know what a pill does rather than them experiment and have a bad trip and they Some might not come happens. back from it. I know too many people who've done an experiment and never came back. Right. So I'd rather let them know this is what it is. You can go ahead and do it. I mean, but this you, is what's going to happen. That's on you. Like, start acting weird. I might pop you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I love you, nigga, but you might lose a kneecap, nigga. Like, I'm gonna slow your ass down, nigga. But um, nah, man, like I'm man. that parent, you know. Like, I get it. I mean, you gonna you gonna face the real world with me. I'm not putting fucking sprinkles on shit and telling you it's a cupcake. I'm gonna tell you what the real is out here. Let's so Miss Netra clapped going. when you said um that you teach your son about firearms. Are you gonna teach your 18 month old? Absolutely. At what age? Um, so I attended a class that said, um, as early as two. Early the better. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So Dude, just like Derek Grayson, though. Just, yeah, I like Derek Grace. I do follow him in the And again, people going twist and turn this. I'm not saying I'm going to give my son a Glock at two and tell him to go run around with it. That's not what I'm saying. But an introduction to say, like, you know. How to do it safely. Right. right. One. And so I did, um. Safe. I did do the safety course with my twins also, and I do take them to the gun range so that they are learning about it. They are CPR certified also so that my parents are old. Something can happen. I may not be there. They might be hanging out for the day. Somebody pass out. What are you doing in an emergency like this? You know, they they might have friends that have asthma. What is you what you gonna do when your friend drop down with an asthma attack? I really feel like people need to introduce their children to all that stuff. Get them CPR and first aid certified because Emergencies do happen. Off topic. So let's go back to the situation at hand. So damn, story time. Sunday night, I'm coming out the house and my neighbor's yelling at me, Amanda, I just got to get smoking. And in my head, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, cause she's pissed. And I'm just like frozen. Like, I hear her. I hear what she's saying, but it's not making no kind of sense. And my son, he just coolly rides by me. Mind you, I'm still frozen, stuck, looking at her, and I'm eyeing him. But in my head, I think I'm talking to her. But apparently, everybody else who's outside, they're like, no, you just stood there. In my head, I'm like, you motherfucker. But I just stood there. <laughs> so, my brother. So, Mr. Jackpot and King Al, they were inside the studio. So I'm like, yo, he just got caught smoking. Y'all take care of this shit. <laughs> Cause I couldn't keep a straight face. Once it processed, I started laughing in my head. I'm such a bad mom guys, but don't judge me. So in my head, I'm not a bad mom. Cause in my head, I'm laughing. So can y'all go, that's what you doing now? <laughs> And then I pop open a big old bag so he, of M&M's. He opened and I'm just bit. looking at them one by one. <laughs> yep. One at a time. So Jack Clark's like... Are you like, in your head like, what the fuck am I supposed to say? No. Oh. I'm waiting for an answer. <laughs> so hold on. So he's standing in the doorway of the studio. And Jack Clark's <laughs> like... Your heart is beating mad fast. Look at your chest. <laughs> And I'm eating the m and watching him as he's talking to him. Because you know when you get caught doing some <laughs> shit, right? You're like, oh, what the fuck they going to do? And we all calm. Like, none of us is yelling. None of us is screaming. That's Meanwhile, his homeboy done got popped upside his head, right? <laughs> and we're like, shit. So... He's he looked scared, but he looked like he trying to keep his shit together. Real no. t- like he looked like he really trying to hold it together. But he shook. It you could tell eyes. he shook. It was his eyes. I yes. swear. It looked like he was also because his eyes were so pierced. Like, so, oh my god. So we get him in. We get him in. We sit him down. Long story short, we fast forward. We're like, yo, what was? Where'd you get it? He's like, we didn't do nothing. 
We're like, oh, so she's lying. He's like, we didn't do nothing. We're like, well, where did you get it? He's like, it was leaves. Like, <laughs> We're like, yo, what? It was leaves off the tree, bro. When I'm so happy I did that, not overreact. I looked at her. I was like, Yo, I couldn't even hold him. I couldn't even keep the laughter in. All of us started laughing. Like, leaves? Do you know how sick you can get? Smoking the leaves outside? That's the first thing we thought about. He was about. like, we washed it. <laughs> I walked out when he said Yo, I'm like, I can't even be mad at him. Yo, this is some regular kid shit. Some regular kid shit. This is really kids being fucking kids. Seriously. I used to take paper when I was young, roll it, light it, and I I never used to inhale it, but I used to take the puff and just blow it out. I used to do that when I was young. What? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm not even mad at you. I was like, because when I was 13, I swear I was smoking and I was smoking tea bags. (laughs) And here this one, because he knew the girls that I was with, because we, Jackpot, me and him have been friends since eighth grade. So he's like, why didn't y'all just call us? I'm like, you remember she used to get her ass beat. We was really going to call you to smoke the real shit. We could have just smoked the tea. We thought we was cool. We was, we was quote unquote high and everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> so another friend, she's like, man, I used to put oregano in toilet paper. So we just talking jokes and trying to not make him feel so bad like, yo, but seriously. But then we did get serious and we had that conversation like, dude, is anything curiosity to it? We told him the pros, the cons, all of that. He's like... He's just doing kid shit. He really didn't have no type of nothing. He thought it was cool. That's what he said. That's what it was. He thought it was cool. Just thought it was cool. So sometimes, so any parents out there listening, try to not overreact when your kids do dumb shit. Because you got to remember, at one point in time, you was that age. You probably did something close or worse. And think about why you did it. Right. And think about why you did it. You was a kid. You was curious. You probably saw somebody do it that you looked up to. And boom, now you want to try it with your friends and so forth. There's that on just being a little bit of a chill parent. <laughs> I know if it was me at 13 and my parents caught me, my ass was going to be grass oh, and yeah. they was going to be the lawnmower. Yeah, there yeah. wasn't going to be no questions, no nothing. Chrissy and Alfredo didn't play that shit. My father almost beat me one time because I didn't want to eat my pizza. It was a cheese pizza and Chuck E. Cheese and the, the pizza got burned and I thought it was pepperoni. And I was like, I don't want to eat it. It's pepperoni. Yo, he sat back and started to take off his belt. I was like, oh, this is good. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. This is some good old pizza. <laughs> I, I was know. not getting beaten Chuck E. Cheese. That, excuse me? No. Because we used to ask. We used to ask. I, I'm not going to lie. Because I remember that time at Chuck E. Cheese, just not to get off topic real quick, but just to throw it in. My aunt had bought so much pizza for us. And there was a lot of us there. And then we ate like one of the pizzas and she bought like three. Now, Chuck E. Cheese pizzas were not cheap at all. So she sat there and she looked at it. She was like, y'all really not going to eat this pizza? She said, oh, we not leaving here until y'all eat at least another box. And we was like, oh, my God, really? So <laughs> with that, I, I understand, you know, growing up with, you know, Caribbean parents, you know, back in the days, they were considered, you know, drugs or they wouldn't call it what we would call it today. They wouldn't call it weed. They would call it marijuana. Reefa. And reefa mm-hmm. and things like that. <laughs> so if you got caught back in the days living with Caribbean parents, yeah, they would have bust your they ass. They was going to beat your and ass. Every single one that you walked by was going to bust you too. After. And that's what happened to a young boy who lived across the street. <laughs> Yo, that was so bad. <laughs> now, why would I. You find him. His father find him on his grandfather on the porch. Lick him and then went upstairs and then, well. <laughs> so, being that we're still on the topics about kids, this morning I was scrolling. Um, no, I wasn't scrolling. I was scrolling social media. And I think it was Siani that mm-hmm. sent me the post about North Carolina changing their laws from 14-year-olds being legally married to um, changing the age to 16-year-olds. First of all, why are 14-year-olds able to get married legally? Let's start there. Mm-hmm. Because if they're outside smoking leaves, thinking the shit's cool, <laughs> dog, <laughs> getting married at 14 is not <laughs> the shit. Like, I got I got married, I was what? Third, I was in the 30s somewhere. And I don't think that the mindset I had at that age, I could have it at 12 to, it's just, not 12, I mean 14. It's still, they're babies. Mm-hmm. 
And then they're changing it only to 16. Mm-hmm. I think at 16, you're still a baby and not mm-hmm. really ready. Because the drinking limit is what over there right now? 21. Wait. Oh, North Carolina? I don't know. Their laws oh, are different. Wait. They're drinking? They're drinking, you said? Yeah. yeah. Drinking is 21. 21. Is it still yeah, 21? Yeah. Ain't that a so, law? so you can. It get, is a federal law, but. Yeah, so I you can. Be, oh, I, oh, I thought it was state. So what you going to have at the, at, the, at the wedding? Cider? Right. Apple cider? <laughs> First of all, well, you going to get married. Is about. I it's understand, about but still, just think about it. You know what I mean? You can even legally drink at your own wedding because you're 16. But to add on to what you said, you do. Like, I don't. I What are the Amish people? Yeah. They get married earlier than 14. Oh, yeah. Don't they get married at They get nine? married as soon as they get their period. I'm sorry. I, as yeah. soon as they, as do, soon as that drop. Do they still they get, do that today? Yes, in 2021? In, this day, in 2021. Yes, there's still on this country. That's no, I, thing, I know. But no, they, yes, they still do that. Yes. I know. Because I actually, I told you I was going to look into it. And I read an art- article. I forgot to send it to you. Damn, I, I didn't know. But I'm gonna so, uh, yes. Did the article explain who they get married to? They get married to either their father or the person that kind of buys them. Yeah, the dowry. If he the, pay yes, the dowry. exactly. You said their father. Mm-hmm. Fathers make dozens with their kids in Amish people in Amish country. No, no lie. So I didn't know that either. Mm-hmm. Okay, so do they get divorced. Because no. if the father has multiple children, the, multiple girls, who, then that's just it's like it's like sister wives. That's exactly what it is in America. Right? In America, it's still legal. it's not legal, but they still do it because in some states it's still considered a religion. The Amish, so the Amish still considered live in, in Pennsylvania, right? And I know polygamy is legal in mm-hmm. I think Utah mm-hmm. or some weird shit like that. And there may be Amish cultures out there too, but I think because it is a quote unquote part of their religion, they can't really get fired. Like, I don't know. Like, you can't go to jail for okay it. Yeah. With them, because it's a religious belief. And the parents are gonna agree to it, so because what are you gonna say? Their, yeah. So what are you gonna say? Could you imagine your 14-year-old coming to you like, I'm ready to get married? <laughs> I'm sorry. Ma'am, you can barely wipe oh, properly. Or right. sir, your piss is just thought into froth. You're not getting married at 14. And some girls don't even get their stuff at 14. Right. Some people bloom late. And I still couldn't even imagine that at 16 because you're still not fully developed and done with puberty at 16. Yep. I don't know. Because at 17, was... you can get emancipated to get married. Yeah, you at can. 17. I, oh, I thought emancipation was at 16. 17 in Massachusetts. Uh-huh. Trust me, I looked it up when I was 17. Well, you were trying you to divorce your parents? I was trying to stop. You're trying to do something crazy. I Justin, bet you. Justin. I bet you. You're happy you did it. I'm so happy I did it. Huh. Did your parents bathe you every day? <laughs> yes. Yo, <laughs> what y'all feel about these parents not bathing their kids until they see the dirt on them? This shit is crazy. That shit makes me itch. Let me tell you why. Sorry. Because I am the person that I I don't like stuff on my sheets. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like my first of all my. My my home is my sanctuary. Mm-hmm. My bedroom is off. Like I don't even like guests in my room. Like my, my bedroom is like a sacred space, um, and my bed is a clean space. I don't like nothing on my sheets, so I shower before I get in my bed. Mm-hmm. If I get home and it's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm so drunk because I've been out drinking all day that I don't feel like getting in the shower, I will sleep on the floor before I get in my fucking bed mm-hmm. because I don't like stuff on my sheets and I don't lotion after I get out the shower again because I don't like product in my sheets. I say that to say, every day for the last 14 fucking days or even more, it has been hot hot as hell. hell. And you can just do nothing. You can walk to your car and back home and me, me, not you. I'm going to talk for myself. I will feel so dirty. Just the outside air. Like, you're moist because you're sweating. Mm -hmm. And then the dirt in the air is landing on you and just living there. And you mean to tell me you don't have the need to wash that off? Like, you ever feel dirty? You know how people say you smell dirty? I Mm -hmm. feel dirty sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. That's about humidity. I like that you guys brought that up because that was a conversation that was actually brought up today at work. About bathing? About somebody that hasn't taken a shower in four days. Oh, and And they come to work? Smelling rank today. I smelt it. To, oh, because oh. uh, because uh, I went to my I went to my cubicle and she never comes to see me. All of a sudden, she needed to come see me today, so she comes to my desk. And at first, I thought it was my food, so I was about to throw my food away. <laughs> hey. But then I'm like, 
nah, it ain't my food. So then I'm sitting there and she keeps talking. And when she like got closer to me, I was like, mm. ding, 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 ding. So ding, then ding. I was looking, I'm like, so then I like got closer, like, you know, like, you know. And she's like, oh, you trying to get closer to me? I was like, mm-hmm. Man, when I turned like this, I was like, and I'm like at her like waist. So you know what I'm smelling if I'm right Ooh. here. Ooh. What? I was like, literally. And she was like, what's wrong? I was like, I ate something. It's not sitting right. She was like, oh, I'll be back. I literally had to go to her supervisor, who's my supervisor. And I was like, you need to talk to her about getting bathed because that she stinks. She was like, oh, I thought it was just me. I thought it was. No, honey, it's everybody in the office. And now the office smells. And her reasoning reasoning for not taking a shower is because humans are not supposed to take a shower every single day. What? Ma'am. That's her logic behind that. So she knows she stinks. Apparently, we're puta. Like, and she don't, and she, and she don't like take care of herself. So like her armpits are hairy. Like so, at least the people not to justify them not no, bathing, no, no, right. but they bathe their private in their pits. She they she's they take bird baths in the sink and they wash their pits and their privates. She's a hippie, and they only bathe their kids when they see dirt on them. No, nah, she's a hippie. She she's a hippie. she don't wear deodorant. She don't shave. Hippies also don't. But they classify, okay, when they wash their clothes, this is a teacher that told me this when I was a teenager. He asked everyone in the class, how often do you wash your jeans? And I I was like, that's a real awkward question. I'm like, anytime I wear them, once I wear them, I take them off, I put them in the dirty clothes. So he's like, maybe I've washed all of my jeans maybe about once or twice. I said, in how many years? He said, I don't dirty them, so if they don't get dirty, I don't wash them. Oh, that's nasty. I said, whoa. And I said, you know your armpits are sweating? Like, I pointed that out to him, you know. That's how he was at the school. And he was like, yeah, I know how to wear deodorant. And I was like, oh. You know something? All right. You know, he said, I'm a hippie. And I was like, oh, that's what that is. You know teenagers is nasty like that, too? And they smell hot? They smell like outside. Like we Yo, smell when we was inside Miami airport. Listen, let me tell you something. Yo. Now as an adult with teenagers, I absolutely understand when the elders, when we was kids, was like, and I smell like outside, go bathe. Them kids be rank as hell. hell and don't be wanting to bathe. They be like, and mind you, they didn't even have to go outside, but they just be smelling like outside. They be like, I didn't go nowhere today. Why do I have to bathe? Because you was peeing and pooping throughout the day. So you need to wash yourself. You need and to clean it. Just that your body naturally shed cells. Yes. Yo, rinse that shit Teenagers off. are gross. They be like, people be like, but you know, kids usually do what they see their parents do. That's a lie. Because I bathe lie. like twice a day, sometimes three. My mother be cussing me about the water bill, but I bathe. And them <laughs> kids in my house, yo, I be like, who, who raised y'all? And I know a lot of parents are going through this right now with COVID. I'd be vexed. It's like a fight to get these children to bathe. It's, oh. It becomes so lazy. I know I'm not the only parent dealing with this. So when y'all listen to this, please comment and say that you know another teenager out there that don't want to bathe. <laughs> or another child don't make me feel like I'm crazy. Because I was talking to my cousin about it today. And her son is like in the second or third grade. And then he got the same excuse. He'd be like, he don't want to go bathe because he didn't go outside for the day or he don't need to brush his teeth because he didn't go outside. He's not talking to nobody. Sir, hello? Yeah, my Ex- oldest is 11. That's how he feels. He sits on the couch. Oh, so your son does it too. See, my told oldest, you. My I, did, I didn't know he, he does, does that. that. He does that. He will sit on his electronics, on his laptop all day. He'll be there all night. He won't go to sleep till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning with the headphones still on his head and said, I wasn't on the computer all night. Oh. But you got the headphones on your head. Mm-mm. So when he be there in the room, I say, you don't want to go bathe. Everybody took a bath. Everybody brushed their tea. You don't even want any cereal, you know, to you know put some food in your system. Do it just like you know he don't want it. You ain't leave the room yet. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. I, I'm watching my shows. Oh, okay. No problem. Um, Can you go take a bath, please? So. Do something. Do something. Kids are gross. Yo. Kids are gross. I can't wait till your 18-month-old is... Yeah, oh, they do. Out of it. Yeah, I was about but... to say, well, my son likes taking baths. He gets so excited when it's bath time. See? But that's only when they're young. 
know. Some so, kids don't kids, like bathing when they're young. My kids either. used to love to bathe. I don't know. And listen, happened. you hear what they she hear exactly what she said. Like, they, they did. They used to. to I got. I still have videos when they used to be in the bubbles and all of that shit, balling because I used to tell them they had to come out. Yep. Now they balling to go in, mm -hmm. and then when they get in, I can't get them to come out. I'm like, yo, what Junior the does that too. <laughs> Junior does that too. I'd be like, time to go big. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. You getting mad because you about to be clean? Junior, <laughs> Junior does that. He does that crap. Can we, like, yo. can we, as parents, get to a point in our lives where we, we can cancel our children? No. Because they're being ridiculously no. head asses? Listen, we have mutual friends that be trying to sell their children on Facebook. Shut no, up. see, I already told people, if you're going to sell your kid, you got to sell them on eBay. No, Pinterest, because you made them. You got to sell your kid <laughs> on Make Etsy. Etsy, Etsy yes, Etsy. Problem. Etsy is where you sell the stuff you make. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a joke. All the parents, they can relate. Sometimes your kids just do shit and you're like, what can I do legally to get rid of this little motherfucker for a couple minutes, couple hours? I love them and I'm going to miss them, but I just need a little break. A legal. Yeah, I'll be looking for the return policy. See, the return policy. <laughs> no. The return policy. Yeah, man. Return to sender. No backseas. Hey. No? All right, cool. But according to um, Tots, you can't return babies. Tots? What's Tots? It's on Disney Junior. Yes, it is. It's a cartoon it's on a Disney It's a cartoon, Junior. yeah. On Disney and Junior. Somebody tried yeah. to return their baby. Yeah, but but you can't. can't. What? Yes, sir. They got the fire station. I'm not doing this with you. Today. Oh, oh, sorry. Anyway, Little Nas X and um, the baby. How do we feel about this, guys? So... Here's the thing. People want people want to the the, I, the meme said, can the straight community cancel Little Nas X the way the LG all those letters? I'm sorry, I don't LGBT. need to. LGBT. Yes, yeah. LGBTQ. Yes, yeah, community know. wants to cancel the baby. I can never get those letters right. I'm yep. so sorry, guys. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's it's hard. So, it's hard to say this. So. This for me is tough because I don't understand cancel. So the whole cancel culture, they want to quote unquote get rid of it. I guess it's like a um a boycott, I guess you can say. It's a boycott for the okay. new age kids. This this generation, they want to boycott people, not support mm -hmm. them in any way, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they wanna not no longer support the baby for his statement that he made. And then they no longer want to support. Um, so the, the straight community no longer wants to support Little Nas X for his videos. So honestly, I never saw the Little Nas X videos. Oh my god! I only saw the first one that was quote unquote disturbing. That was like a big thing. And then I, um, I haven't seen the second one, but I only heard about it. Yeah. So here's my thing, though. The more people talk about it, he's going to still he's get the publicity that he's looking for. Every time you click that YouTube video, that link, he's getting paid. These people that want to cancel it. him, every time they hashtag him, he's getting paid. <laughs> so I feel like if you don't like something, just don't entertain it. The less you give something your energy or the, or the entertainment, it can no longer exist. But the more you discuss it, the more you give it light, the more you give it some type of energy, ta-da-da, it's going to still be there. <laughs> I don't get so people. Energy the number one topic. Right. So y'all remember, so it's the same, so you're saying, so what you're saying is absolutely correct. It's the same thing with the R. Kelly situation. People was egging on that for months, especially when the documentary came out. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see it? Mm -hmm. I watched a little bit of it. It was tough to watch. So I, I didn't. Yeah, it, it definitely is. But it's the same thing with that. Right after the documentary, it's like when he got to jail, he's not the topic anymore. Yeah, he's no it's longer a, streaming. It's a, it's, 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 a it's, like, it's, it's it's a fade. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, a, a phase. it's a phase. So it's a phase. one minute a this phase. is going to yeah. be big and then it'll die out. I said this before. And then something else is going to happen and this will die out. Nobody cares about anything. Major hype was just in Boston. Mad Caribbean people that quote unquote was canceling him for beating up his girlfriend exactly. was at his show. Right. So I was looking at it like, damn, these people are the same people that was dogging him out. He came to Boston and the same so people put was taking pictures with him. And put so I'm like, so. this whole cancel thing is bullshit. It's bullshit. Nobody stands their ground for nothing. It's like as soon as it, the wave is over, they completely forget and their whole, it's a bandwagon shit. It's a so, whole bandwagon. So, but go, sorry. Go ahead. So, Nedra. There's a lot to unpack here, right? There is. And try to get all my thoughts out. So in reference to cancel, and I'm taking what you guys are telling me in addition to a conversation I had before. 
So it's a way to boycott in the new age, right? Because we have social media, we have airwaves, you can get to more people, you know, you can make a bigger sound. But how long does it last? Right. And I'm speaking to the fact that, like, the top, the fact that you make it with Major Hype, right? Mm-hmm. How long ago did it happen? Mm-hmm. We boycotted him. We, um, we, I don't know that I've ever canceled anybody. But right. I hate they because who the hell is they? But you cancel them for two months. All right, you're on two-month detention. We're not going to support you, talk to you, whatever, for two months. And then we'll get back to the regular scheduled programming. Mm-hmm. Or it's canceling like forever. Never again do you ever. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if so, it's not forever, then, you know, you can't like right. t- really talk shit about the time frame. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And this is just in reference to what, like what she said about right. the major hype. Right. Things. All right, boom, there's that. It's same thing with R. Kelly. Like, do we cancel him forever? Whatever. And the and so this is people, right? These, right. This is not things. So, right. for instance, these high-end places trying to, you know, make certain items for the Black community. Like, didn't Apple make, like, the, some AirPods with, like, the mm-hmm. African flag or some shit on it? Or somebody made a watch or some shit? Cancel that, make them take it off the market, boom, that is forever. So it's easier to cancel things than it is to cancel people. Mm -hmm. All right. True. There's that one. In reference to Little and Oz X and the baby, right? Based on what you're telling me, are they saying, oh, because the LGBTQ community canceled Little and Oz, um, canceled the baby, we should now stand up and cancel Little Nas X? Nah, niggas, I mean, as soon as that shit hit the airwaves and all that blood, Nike, Air Max. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It was his I video. I didn't watch it because they said it was really demonic. Yeah, it is I don't fuck with extremely like demonic. Yeah, I don't do yeah, negative. Don't, I, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't do. I didn't. Of... I didn't see it. I just seen like the what they put on. Um, like I think highlight. it was like high, like the like that was you know the little like, like shade room clip. or yeah, stuff like that. I seen that and I was just like, yeah, that's a dub. But the thing is, I never even liked him. I don't like his music. I don't like him as an artist. Artist. I don't know who he is as a person, so I can't base it on right. that. But as an artist and his music, I don't like it. I don't like him. So I don't personally care when they talk about him. Right. Same. I don't. So, so that that was going to be my point, right? He so I don't cancel him. He has to have a fan base, right? Yeah. Like fan base, be his fan base. You don't like him, don't fuck Just keep right. going. Yeah. I just yeah. keep it moving. Pushing. I don't right past it. I don't understand. Like I don't get I don't it, that. And, then yeah. that, and that goes back. To and is he like disrespecting anybody, or does he just? I think it's just going or? against what people beliefs are, and that's fine. I He's, absolutely he, understand. He it. does that. He goes. He goes to all the shows with a dress. Yeah, that's his thing. Every that's, award show, he has a dress on or something feminine. He, than that. No, absolutely, absolutely. It's we're not disagreeing than that. with that, but what we're just saying is, with pe- instead of people making this big old hoopla, of wanting to just quote unquote cancel someone or boycott them, they could just. Keep it moving if you... True, but check this, right? All right, we got little Uzi Bird. Mm-hmm. We know little Uzi mm-hmm. Bird's on his Satan shit. Mm-hmm. We've had Marilyn Manson. Mm-hmm. We knew Marilyn Manson was on his Satan shit. These people came out like that. Lil Nas X reeled in children mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. flipped on that shit. Mm-hmm. That's what we got the problem with. Mm. Yeah. fucking with the babies, my nigga. Yeah. We ain't doing... We ain't, we ain't riding with that, my nigga. You gotta go. Mm-hmm. You gotta. It's not the homosexuality. You fucking with the kids, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's yeah. where we draw the line. Yeah. That's where you gotta go. That's where you get canceled completely. Ain't no boycott. We trying to take mm-hmm. you up off the screen. Period. Yeah. Not trying to kill the nigga, but, but you we, can't need, be on we, the we, we need we, we need YouTube and all these things to can't. Like the you- same way, um, my, my, the baby lost his shit. We need you to. We need some contracts canceled on Yo, you know too. how many things the baby lost? The baby because lost of that? Mad, mad stuff. Kanye, that that song Kanye that he had that dropped off the album. Off the album. Mad people start fucking Mad with people the dropped his shit. any features that he had. Well, not any of them, but some features that he had, he they dropped it. it and they would be like, they would just not put his verse. What did he say? He basically he, was at concert and he was basically like, shout out to all the women and, and uh men in here that basically like don't have AIDS and are not gay. Yeah. Right, right. Along those lines. I'm not saying yeah. ver- verbatim, but that's... It was something along the line of um, <clears throat> shout out to the people who have HIV AIDS that are not gay. 
or something like that. Something real specific. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, thing. look it up if you can. But it was something oh, along yeah, those lines I that I feel like that was mad unnecessary. It's it was unnecessary for him to say, but at the end of the day, everybody got their fucking bias. Everybody I get hates that. something. I absolutely the man just I found it. Hate Hold on. Publicly. No, I know I'm just saying. I found it. Oh, go ahead. I found it. You guys want me to play it loud? Yeah. Put it to the like right here. Yeah. Okay. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases. That'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone like the uh. Lady, if you like water, put a cell phone like the uh. Fellas. Lights up. Fellas, if you ain't suck in the parking lot, put your cell phone like Let's in the be uh. real about these. Yeah, keep it real. Some of y'all suspect as a motherfucker. Let's be real. With that, if you ain't sucking dick, you stuff. ain't sucking dick. Cause he basically, if you fellas, if you ain't sucking dick or getting whatever, put your put your mother for whatever. And then he says something about um the first statement that he said. Mm -hmm. So so he about said, the HIV, if you don't got HIV and AIDS. Put your phone in the air. And if you ain't sucking dick in the parking lot, put so your pretty phone much in along those lines, and that's why he's that's um, being I'm canceled. So so, <clears throat> so hold on. Right. Okay. So another argument <laughs> with that was a lot of dance hall talks about homosexuality, mm -hmm. like bono de chi chi, you know, stuff like but that. You didn't even. All right, fellas, if you ain't sucking dick, obviously that's like a that's considered gay, right? But he but, people have said way worse things about. And this is what a lot also because he said if you ain't sucking dick in the parking lot. The, the AIDS thing, it's the really. The, I think it's the more the AIDS thing. You know what I mean? If you are here it's without, a, if you're here without a, a deadly, a viral disease, put your. But what if somebody's in the, the crowd? Right, that and they're you know what I mean? I like damn. Oh, so I just like just fuck me. So fuck me you know because mean? I have I HIV mean, AIDS. Like, or I get it, but I don't get it because my pussy don't taste like water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my pussy tastes like skittles. I don't get no love. Oh, like come on, man! That's just crazy. Bro. <laughs> Bring that on my snap. Yeah, taste we got the rainbow. Taste the show. Taste rainbow. Are you fucking kidding me? See, and that's that's other people's argument. Oh, so there's. Shit. Different sides of the coin here. Like some people are like, cancel him for what? I'm gonna support him until he's done. And then there's other people that's like, world, no, God. he's not. Okay. Yeah, this man. world is so sensitive, man. Like, I see both sides. I'm not picking either funny. war. I, I mean, I don't listen to the baby. If he comes on the radio, he comes on the radio. If he don't, he don't. I don't sit in my car and search the baby's music to listen to him. I mean, it's not my number one choice so he's in the same category with little Nas X for me I don't listen to them to cancel them you know what I mean like I it is what it baby. is no friend. I know I know there are people out there a, a few of you in here right now y'all like rock with the music you like, took yeah, out so okay like. so I'm the minority in the room I'm I don't listen to them all four of you do so for, yeah that's where it is y'all canceling them or y'all still listening I still listen to him you I, mean, listening? I, still do. I think for me he didn't insult me not just the listening. Yeah. I didn't. And I don't mean that go. in an ignorant way either. Like, yeah. he didn't insult me. I'm just saying I don't really see what the you're, issue you're is. You're not offended by understand. anything he said. Right. Okay, there you go. Only hit dogs to call them. So, there we go with that situation. <laughs> Damn, man. I'm confused. You confuse. You know Look, what's crazy? We've gotten a lot more. We've gotten a lot more sensitive within the past year. Yeah. This is the vast <laughs> world, man. We got, so we're gonna do it like this. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. And fuck you. I'm out. Hand against.